Hello, Governor! I am Sarah from 190. Welcome back to my channel. I truly appreciate your presences. Guys, check this out. I am producing many times carrot. I got this idea from controller skills. Thank you very much. This is my design, however, guys. If you'd like to know how this is built, then stick around. If you have a survival shop, this is very handy for all ingredients. You can produce potatoes, melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, seeds, wheat seeds, all seeds, seeds. But make sure this build, when you build it, is facing the west or it will not work, guys. It will only produce flowers if you're facing the east. So make sure you're facing west. Put two hoppers down together like this. Two blocks down. So two blocks connected. They're, the hoppers are both into each other. That makes any sense. And now you want to put down a comparator. This is the one facing west. So it's facing west. There's your comparator for your timer. Now you just want to get out a sticky piston, guys. And break two blocks down, and then three blocks. Now we have a sticky piston facing up. What you want to do, guys, is put a dirt block on top. This is going to be our farming block. And a farm is no good without a hoe. So get out your hoe, and turn it into a farming block. You might want to do it later. When we chuck this block in, it will activate the piston, changing it back into a dirt block. So if you want to shut it up, all you need to do is put a switch down or a lever on top of a hopper. Actually, you know what guys, let's put a block on top of the hopper. Then let's put our lever down. And it worked guys, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, so the lever like that, that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's put a dispenser on top of that comparator facing into you and three more doing the exact same thing. So those four hoppers are all facing into that garden dirt block. Now you want to fill that block up there too. And near the switch you want to break down two blocks where you can see your hopper and two more blocks here where you can see your comparator. Then you want to break two more blocks here and two more behind this dispenser. Then you want to get out another comparator and whack it here. It's going to be facing away from this hopper like that. Make sure this comparator is switched on too by the way. Then you want a repeater facing out from that comparator and connect some redstone dust out like this into the back of a repeater facing into the block where the dispenser is sitting on. And do the same thing again guys. So you want to get three blocks out and four blocks, well we'll connect it up with some redstone like so. And then four blocks up here behind this dispenser. Now you want to get an another repeater and whack it down behind that block and connect up the redstone. There we go guys. You're doing really well, I'm very proud guys, so let's continue. So you want to break out another three blocks, and four more behind this dispenser with another repeater into the block. And connect it up with redstone. Only this time guys, the redstone's not going to quite make it, so put a repeater here on one tick, and connect all the redstone together on one tick. There we go guys, this is the main part of the build. Make sure that comparator's turned on by the way, and there we go! Make sure it's exactly the same, and it was facing west when you started and you should be good as gold. Now what you want to do is fill up your dispensers with bone meal and cover it up with block of choice, which I chose white, guys! And there you go, so I'm just going to cover it up like this, hide the redstone, and yeah, definitely going to want to fill up the dispensers and then cover the dispensers up with carpet if you wish. Then you want to hoe out that dirt, because it's dirty to hoe. Put it in survival, and there we go guys, this is the epic build, and this is it. It will go up and down like so, and when the block is down you want to smash that spam button with a carrot, and at that moment you'll get a rhythm, and then you'll produce many times carrot. I've already got a stack of carrots guys. It's a freaking ma magnificent! It's a great build. Very, very cool. So let's try it again with a different seed that I just found from this bit of grass. And let's produce wheat as well as the seed. And as you can see, it is. It is doing very well. So if you have a survival shop and you're like trying to sell goods, making all different types of foods, and you need lots of ingredients, this build is pretty epic. It's pretty cool. And this is what it, um, so I'll show you guys the other build, uh, the other version of this. I try to say build and version at the same time, so I ended up saying build. But this is the other one which is facing the east and as you can see the timing's all different and that's why it's only going to grow grass which produces seed and flowers. So that's what happens if you build it the other way, facing the wrong way. I'm facing this way right now. 
So that's the east, and this is the west, and as you can see, I'm producing potatoes. You can also do melon seeds, I believe, and any other type of seed, pretty much. Pumpkin seeds. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share this video with the world. I truly appreciate it. I was a, once a very small channel. And now I'm like 500 subscribers, guys, and I truly dance every night to you guys in appreciation. I'm going to go now. Alright guys, I'm out. See you later.